It's Chef Frankie Whitaker. He came all the way from Chicago to uh, see the Kentucky State Barbecue Festival. And we saw you on Chopped, the TV yeah. show. Yeah, it's great to be here. Great to be yeah. here. Yeah. What did Chopped do for you? Chopped really put you out there, didn't it? Yeah, uh, a lot of people have been noticing me. And uh, it, it was a great episode, though. It was a great, good show. Good show. Had a good time. Well, we're right inside of Grayson's Tavern. And uh, do you cook with bourbon ever? I love bourbon. Yeah, I do a lot of bourbon cooking with uh, ice cream and uh, caramel sauces and things like that. So, Do you have a favorite uh, recipe, like it's a unique one that you've come up with that you put bourbon in? You know, I would do a bourbon with quail. I like doing a bourbon glazed quail. I've been on Chopped twice, and I'm going back for a third show this fall. So. Wow. Has the second one aired? second one hasn't aired yet, so probably this fall, hopefully, we'll get it going. Do people just ever throw ideas, like, okay, so I'm going to, like give you an imaginary box. What are you going to do with it? Do people do that to test all you sometimes? Time, all the time. All right, so for your starter, your ingredients. Yeah. Bourbon, baguette, and bubble gum. Wow. Three Bs. How about a, uh, a baguette? How about a baguette bread pudding with a, a bourbon caramel sauce and a bubble gum foam? I love it. All right, good. Triple V. It's a triple V bread you pudding. You foam out of the bubble gum and you top off the bread pudding. That'd be good. It'd be all right. Yeah. All right. There we go. I made a drink a few years ago with bourbon barbecue and beer, which was pretty good. Perfect. We watered down some barbecue, put with some bourbon, a little foam on top of the beer. Was good. I tell you, when you got bourbon and barbecue and anything, you could put it in a, uh, wrap a shoe, put it in a shoe and I'd eat it. I really would. I mean, you know, and throw some bacon in there. Yeah. Which right? of these distilleries have you enjoyed uh, that you've been... Oh, all of them. They have been so gracious. Uh, Buffalo Trace has been great. Um, Woodford Reserve has been great. Everybody's been just spectacular here. Just, you know, getting lost in Kentucky right. is half the fun of it all. Oh, yeah. Missing the distillery and finding another distillery or a barbecue place or something. You know, it's, it's half the fun of it. And no one seems to care that you're lost either. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, you got to go back up the road a little bit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's been great. So.